Uh, this tutorial is for Brian working on his uh, Airstream design and uh, everybody may run into this problem uh, or this situation from time to time but there are a couple of potential fisk fixes so I want to talk about those fixes uh, for this particular instruction. Here's a gap after the the shell center parts have been formed. Now you may have been approaching your design in two ways. The one I'm showing right now is the process I showed where you're creating both the outer and inner shell at the same time. And what you need to do is if this is the case and this is the kind of thing that you have, you can come in and highlight your section and then highlight the end piece here. Now this is if uh, in my case both of these are separate com components but then just use your pull tool and pull one over a distance and if you have the end cap down here you can see that shows you where it is you could use that as a reference if you don't uh, there's another way you can do it and then I'm going to come over and highlight this shell and the end part and pull that in to make the connection here all right, and there, as long as you're pulling it straight across, that's going to make a joint and come out perfectly fine as far as bringing your item back together. Now, I'm going to control Z back to where it was and talk about another possibility, and that's only if you have a single shell um, or even if these two are linked. But uh, if you only have, yeah, just like the outside sh shell, you've designed it that way and you don't have an inside shell, you can use a similar technique. Uh, if you have a line across between the front section, uh, you can use that. But if you don't, uh, click on the outside gray area so that nothing is selected. Come in with the line tool and make a line across this gap or this joint. So I missed my alignment. Try that again. There we go. And then when you come in to click on your section, you'll have a guideline that you follow as you pull them together. If you have it like I have here, all you have to do again is click the segment double click till the whole thing's highlighted and then just highlight the one edge and if you use your move tool you can slide this right along and pull it over to your center gap and then do the same thing on the other side and pull it over to the center gap so that if you end up with a section in the center which oftentimes you might just because again the way the pull tool or the follow me tool works uh, you may have that kind of problem but that's a quick and easy fix uh, that you can do and then as far as the front cap what you have to do is what I would suggest you do is you highlight it till you get one section click um, hide hide the section so you can see what you're working on and then what you knew, once you have the uh, section in the, the hide mode, and this say again the same thing, this was over, what you need to make sure you do is when you come down here, you need to very carefully make sure you select every single joint in the curve. and you want to do this all the way down. Now I realize that mine is going to look work a little bit different than Brian's but the same principle works so I'm just demonstrating a possible solution and then again if you use the move tool you should be able to move that whole section say back and forth till it pulls together in the center and lines up the way you want it to. Alright and so there's the uh, fix that uh, I think Brian can try rather than redrawing his whole section and working on his whole section 
that's the kind of fix you can often use in SketchUp uh, when you end up with a gap or a space in an area.